Hello everyone. Coming on today to have a play with the Cutesy Treasures card making kit. Um, I've got everything here, sort of, I've taken everything out and put it in um, in different trays. So here I've got all the embellishments, uh, animal themed, and uh, I've got the die for the owl. And I've got these little um, heart shaped little gems and um, and then in here we've got the sentiments we've got the bows and, and the bows <laughs> different types of bows I've got um, the stamp and the um, stamping paper Copic friendly paper and I've got um, some of the bits and pieces of the um, paper packs plus um, I've got the card that I made for the challenge so this is the first card that I've made and um, we're going to make some more now in order to uh, save time because I, otherwise I know my videos will get very long I've decided that I'm going to make three cards and I've already put things together to make those cards with and I've also got some cardstock here which um, also belongs to the kit so so without further ado i'm going to put this to the side and then i'm going to we're going to make the three cards together okay so what i've what i am envisaging doing is using bits and pieces from the whole kit to make 10 cards that that's my uh, aim uh, i won't be making them all today and um but i have sort of put got a few things together now, so for the first one, I thought of having like two, two um, uh, pieces of, of, of paper, the same um, on the card. And this is like the grass and this is like the sky and flowers. OK, so that, that's my idea. And I'm going to cut, so I've got, I'm going to cut uh, maybe two and a quarter inches let's say off for the bottom of the card like so and then th this will be the rest okay so let's see how wide this piece of card is this is four it's just over four inches so just over four inches i'll cut this piece off um and I don't need that anymore. And we'll cut this piece to, I cut two and a quarter. Nice. So, um, see how big this is. Five and a quarter, five and three quarters. I've already got one and a quarter. Five and a half, four and a half. Right. Is that right? No, it's not right. <laughs> Five and three quarters. Uh, three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, so hopefully that will fit on here like so. And this will fit on the bottom. Yeah. So I'm going to cut this down to, what was it, just over four inches as well. And we'll get rid of those bits. To be used at another moment. Okay, so let's glue this down. So the the card base sizes I, I'm do I'm doing I've got a, a selection. Uh, so over the um, time that I make the the other nine cards, as we've already made one, uh, I'll be using these are the A4 size A sorry A6 size card blanks. Um, I'll be using the five by seven that are in the kit and I'll be using six by six so um, but obviously you can use whatever you want um, right so let's see and the, don't mind leaving a little white border all around and so I'm just going to cut the bit off the bottom but right, there 
they are. So that's that bit. And so my idea was that we've got um, these lovely butterflies. We've got we've got the snail and the mushroom um, in the grass. Perhaps the mushroom should be kind of up here. The snail is in the grass. Um, I had another mushroom. Yes. So I've got two mushrooms. Okay. And I've got this lovely little ladybird who's going to be sitting on the top of one of them. And and then the butterflies are going to be flying around. Okay. So um yeah, so something along these lines. I'm going I'm not going to um do anything to the wooden elements, just going to leave them plain. And it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> just a bit of fun. So, so let's stick them down. I love this bumblebee. So this is from the uh, Julia, Julia the bumblebee. This is from the design team um, elements and from the last few months. And these are from um, some collections that Dawn has done over the past few months. And this, this little ladybird as well. Obviously, the mushrooms and the snail are, um, at least the toadstools and the snail are, um, to put him climbing on the mushroom, are uh, wooden elements that are included in the, in the pack. Okay, so we've got these two there and we've got the snail here. And shall we see if we can find a some words um, determined <laughs> feel vibrant valuable satisfied family forgiveness these are actually journaling words um, which Dawn has put together this is her second uh, pack grounded <laughs> about that Grounded. Quite like that. Grounded. Oh, do excuse me. Bliss. Excuse me. Laughter. Imagine. Dream. I'm going to keep out ones which I think I might use um, this time round. Balance. Appreciate, appreciate, it's nice. Confidence is nice. Opportunity, create. Powerful. Clarity. Journal note. Pause, ambition, breathe. Timeless, maybe. Illuminate. Creative, dream. Oh, I've got dream twice. Acceptance, cherish, abundance, progress, focus, successful, compassion. Let's see. Discipline, artistic, wonder, maybe wonder, inspired, learn, driven. Fearless, challenge, treasure, awake, integrity, love, consistent, extraordinary, and faith. Okay, so I think these are the ones that I'm more likely to use. So I'm just going to pop these back in the pot. In the pot. So I'm not having to hunt through all of them and, and shine. I like grounded because it's... You know, I mean, I know it's referring to perhaps to somebody who's been grounded because they've been naughty or whatever. But um, anyway, I quite like it. So we're going to have it on here. Just going to put it down there. So that's the first card done. Moving on to the next card then. Um, okay. Um 
I've got I've got this piece of paper which is left over from when I did the first card and I thought of using it on here with um, this lovely unicorn and um, I wanted to put some ribbon some of this blue ribbon on a ribbon is something I don't normally use so that's a good uh, a good exercise for me so I was thinking of doing something like this and put on oh, no, actually I was thinking of making a bow I thought it, that's what it was it's funny isn't it how your how your mind switches off once you've because <laughs> I, I got these things ready um, a, a little while ago not very long ago really maybe four hours ago and um, already forgotten yes I was thinking of giving her a blue bow a blue bow let's make it a bit smaller a little bit smaller like so had how to uh, keep them tight once you've decided okay so like so I don't I don't need such a, a long end so I'll just cut that bit off so just like that something very simple for this one so this is Fluffy the Unicorn, um, for those of you who haven't been following um, Dawn's releases throughout the year. Um, and this is um, the lovely Suze, Susan Hornby, who is not on YouTube, but she is on Instagram and TikTok and, um, and Facebook. And she makes the most amazing uh, creations she's, she's got such imagination she really has so just going to pop that straight there and then I'm just going to put a blob of glue here and put our oops our ribbon down here like so and perhaps dream dream could be good couldn't it because um it's a mythical creature, <laughs> so. so we'll put that there like so. I'm just going to put that at the bottom. So that's the second card, very simple. Um, and we move on to the third card. Now th this card, I also wanted to use the ribbon. Um, as I was thinking of doing, doing half and half and putting the ribbon down kind of like this. And then, in, and then to group these three together, something along these lines. Mm -hmm. So this is um, the first prototype of um, a fluffy, but Dawn didn't release it because she said it was two like things that were already out and about. And this is Ray the uh, dragon, and this is the the uh, accessory of the unicorn of a pot of glitter so okay so I think this is double-sided paper but I only want that like that blue on the other side so I think I'm going to just cut that more or less in half so that will be a two inch now do I want it going that way maybe I do yes so I'll do two and it's just over four two I'll do two and a half inches Okay, two and a half inch strip. I'm not sure which side. I, I don't know. I always like to put the strip on this side. I mean, could put it on this side. I think I want to put it on this side with the, with this, like that. So I'm going to stick the ribbon down before I put it on the card base. But I need to work out where to, where to cut it cut this pencil it's going to cut that there it's going to cut that little edge off so that uh, so that this fits on the card oops 
hope I'm not bashing you and I hope you can see what I'm doing. Because we know we do. We, we know that I have a terrible tendency to um, not to be in shot. Now, where is my narrow cello tape? Mm. Well, I was well prepared and and I'm not how wide is this one this is too wide um, This would work. Let me see. It's too wide. Maybe this one. Let's see. I think this one would work. So I'm going to put this down along the edge of this. And I'm going to stick this down along here. Like so. Okay, that's worked. Okay. Um, just, and I'll just um, put a little bit here on the other side of the card, just to keep down the, oh, I hate these things, <laughs> I, just... <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I always get in a pickle with them, see this has come off the, the roller, right, okay, I think. It's all right. Um, okay, let's just uh, do that. Right, okay. We've got that now. So, okay. So it's a little bit sticky here. So I'm going to put that down here. I think, because I think... See, no, I'm going to put it up there. I think some, I'm thinking of something along these lines, this, this little um, collection, and then I can put the sentiment up there. So let's glue this down. And then I'm going to put this one here in the middle. I might need to put a little bit of something underneath. Um, I've got some bits of something I need to put underneath here. Let's see. It's because of the ribbon. It's uh, just I'm just working out the the deck. Yeah, yeah, that should be all right. So, um, just going to glue this in half, and then I'll cut this in half, and we'll stick, and we'll stick this bit here, like so, and then more like 
so something like that hopefully that will be all right let's see oh that, that could be perfect and in fact i can get the horn of the unicorn to um glue down up there could put her like that hey fluffy there you are um and then so then we've got her bottle of glitter and we've got ray so i quite like that just going to stick this under here love this dragon he's so cute so so that's it and let's have a look here create powerful fearless artistic confident dream dream i think i quite like dream dream and I want to put some gems on this one. Dream. Um, now, where are the buttons and things? Or well, these jemmies, maybe. I want to fill up this space up here. it would look if I put some of these up here they're gorgeous they 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 um a couple over here maybe Maybe something like that. I just want to fill up um, the spaces a bit. I just feel it's a little bit empty. So let's put some glue down. And pop them down. one and then these two here i love this blue paper it's really um got a nice pattern on it very nice right so there we are so that's that's the third card done and let's just see what how we're doing for time 23 minutes okay so i think it's time for me to stop um so Clear all of this out of the way. Um, and we'll have a look and see what we've made. Okay. So here we are. So here are the, th the three cards that we've made using um, the Cutesy Treasures card making kit together with... Together with this one which I made the other day so that's the first one and then these three so I hope you've like um, what I've done and I hope uh, it's given you some inspiration and if you like the kit you know go over to Dawn's shop and um, see what else she's got yeah um, she's got lots of things in her in her shop there are new things there she's releasing um let me just find my book of words she's releasing um pencil cases and tote bags which have got the the eight characters 
of the cutesy treasures together um, and um, they're very nice and um, she's also got sticker sheets um, holographic matte and mixed ephemera so the characters on their own and you can also you know sheet of the characters on their own or you can um, you can also sell, um, buy them uh, mixed and um, she's also introducing a tribal treasure sticker sheet and um, this is yeah that's that's it and oh and and da, 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 a diamond art painting of the cutesy treasures so if you like diamond art and you like the cutesy treasures there's your opportunity um very low on stock and dawn has said so you know if you want that you need to get in there quick um let me just see when this is going up okay so 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 also um i was just checking the uh, the details i'm sorry i'm dithering a bit um as i'm putting this up on the 3rd of september uh, you will if you go onto her website today and use um the uh the code cutesy c-u-t-e-s-y in capitals um you can get a 10 percent discount on the whole uh website that finishes today at midnight so um that was a little offer she was doing at the beginning of the month so if you haven't made your mind up yet then perhaps today's the day to go and have a look and uh, see if you would like anything so thank you for watching take care everybody have a lovely day and i'll see you all again soon bye for now